of course. Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. This time looking at the brand new deluxe version of Cal Kestis from Jedi Fallen Order. This is number two of the new sort of gaming greats uh, line. It's, uh, it's looking pretty awesome. I've been pretty excited for this one since its announcement. Um, really love the original Cal Kestis figure. So to get, you know, it is more than just a simple repaint. Like for the most part, it is just a repaint um, in terms of his outfit. But um, given the customization of the character in the game, it, it, it kind of makes sense. I, I'm all for a little bit of variant variation in the same character every now and then um and Cal Kestis is a great one because you can switch some stuff around and that's exactly what I'm going to be doing um so there's the artwork on the side looks great a BD one on his shoulder there and yeah this time he's coming with the big poncho um whereas this is the first version I actually did a video a couple months back showing the, the different versions of Cal Kestis already have made from the first one. So um, yeah, really looking forward to opening this one up. And before I getting into start getting into some sort of customizing and, and you know, outfit swapping, we'll take a look exactly at what this is. So stay tuned. All right, so here is Cal next to all the accessories this one comes with. Now, this is pretty cool. We've got some new pieces. Um, we have a repaint of his droid BD-1, so it's pretty nice, I like that a lot. Um, nice to have a variation here is the original. It's sort of the white plain version you meet at the start of the game. Um, but yeah, this is, I think this is the same color as the uh, downloadable content. It was like a pre-order bonus or something. Um, I can't remember, really, I really just want to jump on and, and have a pl play around in the game again now. Um, I picked up the figure and then spent my trip home from work listening to the uh, soundtrack score. So just really wanted to dive back into the game again and have a little play around. So I might do that tonight. But yeah, BD-1 is a cool little droid. Looks nice. On one of mine, I did sort of get a uh, Sharpie and uh, added a few extra details. So um, yeah, this one looks cool though. I like the nice different color. I think that's great. Uh, so we also get the uh, Jedi Holocron. Now, if memory serves me correctly, this is the first Holocron we've had in 6-inch scale. Um, I could be wrong. There could be another one. I'm not, I'm not thinking of one off the top of my head. But, uh, you know, this is, this is cool. I hope we get more of this sort of... I love, just love little accessories like this. They just, it's world building in uh, action figure lines. But uh, yeah, that's that's a cool accessory. Also get the boggling. And you see these little guys hopping around on Bogano. It's one of the first vi planets you visit in the game. Um, what well, is it's the first one you visit after you leave Bracca. Um Yeah, just one of those little creatures you gotta scan you get BD to scan and upload the data bank and stuff like that. And there is a there is a dead one on the floor at one point. But uh, this is a cute little creature again. World building stuff. This is uh, this is this is the stuff I love about Star Wars and uh, you know the toy lines. It's just the odds and ends, the accessories, these little creatures. And this is this is amazing. I love this little guy. Absolutely fantastic. No, no articulation doesn't need it. Um, but yeah, really nicely sculpted little piece. It looks like he was in two pieces. The tail is separate from the body, but uh, yeah, I'm loving it. Zoom up on that little face. Check it out. Nice big dark eyes. Adorable. Love it. So next up we get the hood and I will sort of show this as well afterwards because it is a sw switch out piece. So that's kind of cool. looks nicely sculpted. We'll see how it fits once I get to the figure. So I'll put that aside. Um, we are getting a repack of the original busted lightsaber. So this is Cal's lightsaber that was given to him by his master. We also come with three blades. So we get a 
blue one and two green. So you can do some mix and matching and stuff, which is cool. I really like that. And then we have the uh, the repaired blade, repaired hilt. And uh, I actually did that myself. Uh, I talked about that in my um, previous video, which I took two of the uh, Cal Kestis lightsabers and I, and I merged them together. But this one looks cool too. A little bit shorter. Um, but yeah, I simply just decided on a cutoff point of like there and then I, I joined them together. But this is nice. This is the uh, reforged hilt using different parts. And it's another customizational part of the game that I really love. So I uh, I did use double blue blades, so I'm probably going to do that for this figure and, and put, the, put the blue blue blades back in this one. Because um, that's just my my preference as opposed to the two green, but it is cool to have a couple of green blades. So that is that is how it comes and is displayed in the packaging with the green blades. But uh yeah, fantastic like options, options, I love it. I love that. I love that we get options, display options. It it justifies maybe picking up a second figure as well so you can you know mix and match and and swap stuff around so now we'll get to cow himself if we can get that to focus a little bit there we go so yeah i always thought this head sculpt was absolutely brilliant um i didn't really need to go and change anything i think it's i think it's sort of quite quite decent So uh, yeah, obviously that part does come off there. So that is the hood down. There is a little little peg in there in the back, so you can uh, have that sort of notch. And I uh, that should hold it nicely in place. Take a little bit of fiddling, but I'm not going to worry about that too much right this second. And one thing I'm, I feel like they missed with the first version is. What they've given us here is a little foot slot for BD. So you can uh, poke his foot in there and have him perched on Cow's back, which is great. I love that. Because uh, on my other one I have here, I actually glued him to the back. So it'd stay there. I feel like another a couple of slits in that would have worked to treat. So they obviously um, picked on that, or picked up on that when the uh, when it came to designing the uh, poncho piece here, which is which is really well done. So I'm glad Hasbro paid attention and and picked out that little detail. So that's nice. But yeah, underneath the body is the same as the previous one. It's just sort of a. Uh, Hasn't got the extra, the other shirt underneath, but it's just the sort of plain orange jumpsuit. Um, I sort of wished it wasn't so bright and orange. Um, it was sort of like a dull tan. That would have been a lot cooler, but I personally preferred the blue, um, which is, you know, pretty stock standard. And I'm probably going to put this poncho onto this figure and I'll put this uh, sort of vest, vest thing on this one, just so I have some cool variations. Uh, of the character um so that's my that's my plan for the, for the moment um but yeah i think it's i think it's really good this should be a pretty easy to take off i know this one might be a little bit tricky um but i'll work it out no big deals there so yeah hood on let's take a look It looks like it sits reasonably well. It's not too bad. It looks all right. It's not the best. Um, I, I definitely prefer hood down because you couldn't. It was sort of in the story that he had the hood up. It wasn't necessarily a uh, playable feature where you could keep him keep his hood up. That's cool. It's a nice option too. That's just, it's just a nice, nice bonus for the figure itself. So, I think 
yeah, I'm really, really happy with this figure. I think Hasbro's done a great job. Nice, nice job getting another ver variation of Calcestis out. Um, I'm definitely longing for some more characters from the game. I, I absolutely adore the game. I'd love to see more characters. Uh, it'd be a great opportunity to re-release -re the second sister with the uh, Triller head underneath underneath the helmet so you could remove the helmet that would be a fantastic figure um and yeah grizz grease um yeah taron malakos he'd be a fantastic character to put out double two two red bladed lightsabers i think that would be absolutely awesome but yeah this is a this is a winner i'm really really excited about this one So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Have you played the game? What do you think of the game? Um, yeah, I'm seriously looking forward to a sequel. Yeah, Cal was a uh, fantastic character. But yeah, let me know what you think of the figure and all the accessories and all the goodness that comes with it. I think they've uh, I think they've hit it out of the park. I see myself getting a second one. Um, just for display purposes, I, I really like the uh, options and choices and stuff. But um, yeah, really happy to have this one. This has just hit uh, EB Games and Zing Pop Culture stores here in Australia. And I believe Game Stops in the US and EB Games in Canada. Not sure about the UK. I assume Star Action Figures or Toys or In Demand Toys will, will get this one too. But hopefully those guys in the UK don't miss out. So again, let me know in the comments below what you think. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do and hit that little notification bell so you don't miss any future videos that pop up. So um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Until my next video, may the force be with you always.